I don't tan, I'm black. I came out the womb tan. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so my mystery Ipsy bags came in the mail and y'all, let's get into these bags first because these are gorgeous. Look at that pink iridescent unicorn, very beautiful with the heart and it says Ipsy on it. This is absolutely stunning. I love this. <laughs> This will definitely be like a cute little clutch that I will probably use for other things other than makeup, okay? For like going out on the town. I loved it when I saw it on the website. I was like, I have to have that. And then the next one is this little bag right here. And it is also super freaking cute. Look at these zippers. That is adorable. And this too says Ipsy. And this one's nice and large. This will probably be my going somewhere makeup. Like if I know I need to do my makeup somewhere and I need like a full glam, I will probably be packing this really cute iridescent box of a bag. <laughs> this probably is my favorite set of like mystery bags that I saw. There were some things that were outside of the bag and I don't know what they're supposed to necessarily go towards. Like, I don't know if they're supposed to be for the smaller bag or for the bigger bag. I, I just, I don't know. The first item is actually another bag. When I saw this in there, I was like, eh, why? I wasn't sure why I was receiving this. It does say Ipsy on it. I mean, it's okay. I would prefer to have gotten like an actual makeup or skincare item. I'll find a use for it. I'll find some kind of use for this. And now the second item that was outside of the bag is also something that I won't be using. Like I'm just not, I'm not gonna use it. And this is the It's All Mine, Mine Tan Body Skin. So this is like a self tanner. I don't tan, I'm black, okay? I came out the womb tan. This is just like a facial tan mist by Rose. Is it, is it by Rose or it just has rose water in it? No, it's by mine. <laughs> it has rose water in it. I guess you spray it on and then wait for things to happen. The next thing in here, I wasn't sure what this was. Is this like a scrub? I might be able to use this. It says exfoliating scrub for buttery, smooth, soft skin. Gamage exfoliant. And it's just a coffee scrub. Now this I might actually use, okay? Cause this, you know, I, I can just get all my crusty dusties away. I just want to make sure that this doesn't tan you either. So I need to read. Exfoliate and revitalize your skin with this full body caffeine kick. Buff on freshly ground coffee to smooth your skin and target imperfections such as dry flaky skin, uneven skin, uneven skin. Oh, uneven skin tone. That's what that says. Uh, breakouts and stretch marks. Ooh, stretch marks. Mm, okay. Enriched with ultra hydrating sweet almond oil and macadamia oil on your skin. So it's left feeling buttery soft. So this doesn't tan you. So I might actually keep this. I, I don't know who to give this to. I don't really know any white people that tan. Maybe my sister-in-law has a friend that will use this. I, I don't know. I'll have to ask her. I thought it was both going to be like self tanner stuff. So I was like writing it off immediately. But okay. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and get into this really cute envelope style bag. This is just so freaking pretty. And the inside is like this beautiful pink. Love that. The first item that I'm pulling out is by the Choc Choc. <laughs> and it is a green tea watery cream. Don't know what a watery cream is, but it contains 100% pure green tea ferment extract. Oh, this is by Tony Moly. I really like Tony Moly stuff. Now, Tony Moly is Korean brand. I guess this is just like a moisture. I really like Tony Moly products. That serum, that marine serum is that girl, okay? It feels amazing on the skin. I've been using it like literally every day. Let's see how this cream does. Ooh, she full. Cause as soon as I squeezed, the cream came out. I found it really gross. Y'all know what I mean. Okay, y'all know what I mean. Let's rub this in, see how it feels. It smells. It feels great. It went into the skin phenomenally. And it has like a like a slight sweet scent to it. Very fresh. That's nice. It feels really good. So I'm excited for that. The next little squeezy tube that I'm pulling out of here is by Sutra Beauty. It is a heat guard leave-in cream. I'm guessing this is for your hair. It's safe for all hair types. Paraben free. You know, we don't like them parabens. Get them up out the house. It's just a leave-in conditioner. I don't put heat on my hair. I mean, I probably just use this as a actual just conditioner, not as like a heat protectant because what heat am I protecting it from? 
It smells good. And nothing to write home about, but it does smell good. Oh. This next item is by Keys Soul Care, Alicia Keys brand. And it is the Rich Nourishing Body Cream. Shea butter, cocoa butter. It just comes with this cute little box. Very adorable. Oh. Bruh, that's a little keyhole. How did I not notice that on my larger Soul Keys, Keys Soul Care item? Yes, to the packaging. It just says, rich nourishing body cream. It says, my body is a vessel for love, light, and strength. Keys Soul Care. Let's see what she working with on the inside. Nice little safety seal. We love to see that. It looks more like a balm than a cream. Ooh, no, no. She's soft. She's soft. I did not have to put any pressure to get this little bit out. Her facial oil didn't have any scent to it. So I'm wondering if this is going to have scent to it either. She's soft, but she's thick. It has that skincare smell. <laughs> that fresh kind of skincare scent. It's not bad. It looks like it'll, it, it smells like, not looks, it smells like it will be something that will absorb fragrance very well. So like the fragrance you actually want to use, it'll kind of seep into that. This is like a body cream, but I'll probably just use it as like a moisturizer. <laughs> this whole thing would be gone if I put it over my body. That was the last thing in my smaller mystery Ipsy bag. Now let's get into this big one, okay? This big joker right here. Opens up and then you got all the space. Very pretty light pink. The first thing I'm seeing in here is something that I'm just, I'm just not gonna use. Hair clips by Etika. And they're nice. Like they're very beautiful, but I just don't use clips. And I literally just got some like heart shaped clips from my beauty box with Macy's. The next thing that I'm pulling out of here is by Nip Fab Renew. It says, we do science, you see the results. Okay, very to the point. And this is a retinol fix blemish gel. Okay, so that's what the outer packaging is looking like. Apply to blemish prone areas. Use in the evenings, immediately after cleansing with their cleansing balm. For best results, use in conjunction with another one of their products. Okay. Next time I have a blemish, I will definitely put this on there because I'm trying my best not to squeeze the juice out of pimples. I'm trying my best, but it's just so tempting. And those freaking hero pimple patches don't do anything for me. Pimples still be there. And I've been leaving it on for a very long time, way longer than six hours, and the pimples still be there. So I just end up popping it anyways. So I will give this a try. It's just a little, little tea like this. I guess this is full size. Maybe because it's only for like spot treatments. That's why it's so small. Mm -hmm. But usually when it comes to like the bigger bag, I'm expecting bigger items, you know, with more product. If this works miracles, then I will definitely let y'all know. The next item that's in here is Give Them Lala Beauty. Ooh, <laughs> that's fun. And I don't know what this is. Oh, mascara. Okay, so I got two mascaras in one day. Ooh, it's like a nice little white tube. It has like this really cool like wood finish on there you can barely see it but it's just give them la la beauty and it's just a mascara let's look at the wand so that's a wand <laughs> Ooh, and it's kind of bent you see that it has like a little bend to it have mascara on already so i can't try this right now i will definitely give this a try at some point i gotta try my mac one that i got from my macy's beauty box first and then i'm gonna try this excited for that the next item that's in here Ooh, never tested on animals that's good to know and this is the lip advocate lint lint bruh sheer lip tint that's what it says sheer lip tint this is what it looks like you can barely see the floss because it's white against a very soft pink Ooh, looks like a little crayon like a little crayon marker thing oh okay all right so that's nice let's see i'm gonna put it next to my swatches for my macy's box oh yeah that's very sheer so this is what it looks like ignore this it's very sheer like it says i mean i guess it's a novelty of it looking like a crayon or a marker i don't know Meh. not too excited about this my lips are already kind of that color to begin with for the novelty effects i will give it a try probably with like a dark berry lip liner just to make it pop a little bit more and the last thing in my mystery ipsy is by lys beauty i didn't know that was a black owned brand <laughs> i had no idea all their stuff is like triangles which i think is so like cute and adorable this is the love yourself eyeshadow palette i think this is absolutely adorable it's so cute Ooh, okay it opens up like this and this looks fancy i'm not even gonna hold Y'all. This looks so nice. Wait, let me put it the right way. L Y S. Yeah, it go like this. That is so pretty. Ooh, ooh, it 
comes with a mirror too. Look at that. And then this is the color story. I think that is so nifty. It's just, it's just a funny way to lay out shadows. It's like you got your shimmers and then you got your mattes. I'm gonna definitely play around with this. Probably do like a nice little try on video. I'll probably do like a separate try on video where I just try a bunch of new products. I have gotten so many really cool stuff that I haven't yet used. Looking forward to that. I think this is so pretty. Here are some swatches. They felt so soft and creamy. And this is one pass. Like I literally did one pass through them and you see all that pigment. That is beautiful. I'm super excited about this green and this pink. I think those are just so gorgeous. Packaging is, is, is just chef's kiss. And that was everything in my mystery Ipsy bags. Uh, I'm indifferent. <laughs> the bags themselves are so pretty. There's only like two things that I'm very excited about. So this was just a little bit meh. I really wish they had to put like a blush or a red lipstick or just something a little bit more flirty for Valentine's Day since that was the theme. Reds and pinks. It just it seems like a missed opportunity. You know what I'm saying? They could have given us like a red eyeliner. That would have been so freaking cool. If I had gotten a red eyeliner, I would have been like, bruh. I would have been lit, okay? Overall, I mean, it is what it is. You roll the dice when it comes to the mystery ipsies, whether or not you're gonna like it. So I rolled the dice, it's mid. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Feve. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.